I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to graph linear equation of the type ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Whenever a linear equation is given in this form ax plus by plus c equals to 0, we say it's a standard form of equation. So a standard form of equation is written as ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Now how to graph it? Best way to graph this equation is to find x and y intercepts. As you know, you can plot a line if you know two points on that line. Any two points when joined with a straight line will represent that equation. Now x-intercept and y-intercept could be our critical points. Now let us understand how to find x-intercept for any given standard equation. So let's learn how to find x-intercept first. Now what is x-intercept? x-intercept is a point where the line crosses x-axis. So whenever a line crosses x-axis, at that point, y value is 0, right? So we know that at x-intercept, y equals to 0, right? Now this helps to find the x-intercept. Equation given to us is ax plus by plus c equals to 0. If I put y equals to 0, then I can find the value of x. A times x plus b times 0 plus c equals to 0. Now we can reorganize. Since y is 0, b times 0 is going to be 0. So we are left with ax plus c equals to 0, which can be written as ax equals to minus c dividing by a we get x equals to minus c over a. So that gives you the value of x-intercept. So we, once we know one of the points, the idea is to get the second point. Second point is y-intercept for us. Now y-intercept is a point where the line crosses y-axis. So at that point, x value is going to be 0, right? So at y-intercept, x is equal to 0. Right? So we can reorganize this equation, write in terms of y and place x equals to 0 to find the y-intercept. So this time, let me reorganize the equation first and then substitute the value. Right? We have the equation ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Right? So when we reorganize, we can say b times y equals to minus ax minus c. And what is y equals to? y equals to minus a over bx minus c over b, right? If x is 0, then what is y equals to? y equals to minus c over b, right? So the value of y will be equal to y equals to minus c over b if x equals to zero. So we find the value of y-intercept. Well, I've shown you purposely two different ways of solving a standard equation. I hope that helps. But in any case, we get our points, the two points which are x and y-intercepts. Once we get them, plot those points, join them with a straight line, and then that will represent the equation. Now, let us take up some examples that will help us to understand the concept okay so let me write down one equation let's say it is 2x minus 3y minus 6 equals to 0 right now from this equation in standard form we have to find x-intercept and y-intercept correct As you know, for x-intercept, y is equal to 0. And for y-intercept, x is equal to 0, right? 
This equation can be written as 2x and then y value is 0. So it will be minus 3 times 0 is 0 minus 6 equals to 0. Now we can solve for x. Taking 6 on the other side gives us x is equal to 6 divided by 2 which is 3. Now let's find the y intercept. For y intercept x is 0. In this equation if x is 0 we are left with minus 3y minus 6 equals to 0 right which is y equals to 6 on the other side divided by minus 3 gives us a value of minus 2. So we know x intercept is 3 and y intercept is minus 2. Let's plot these points on the graph y intercept minus 2 which is this point right x intercept is at 3 which is this point joining these two points we get a line which represents the given equation right so that is how we can draw a line representing a linear equation in standard form i hope the example explains how we can do it. You can try a few questions on your own and then see if you have understood the method or not. Let me give you a practice question here. Let's take question 3x plus 2y minus let's say 12 okay equals to 0. I don't want to give you fractions here. So 12 is a multiple of both 2 and 3 avoiding fractions right. So that should be a simple case for you to sketch a graph of a linear equation where the equation is given in the standard form. So the idea is whenever linear equation is given in standard form, find x-intercept and y-intercept, join them with a straight line to get the graph. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.